Oh, we're about to start. Yeah. It's actually happening. I pitched myself like 50 yeah, times, and this is real. Like, we're not rescheduling. Nothing went wrong. Like, this is this is oh, happening. So, we'll see how it goes, guys. Scene two, shot 23, take one. I was the writer, director, and a producer for Loyalty Lies with the Dead. It's kind of been my little baby. Uh, basically, Loyalty Lies with the Dead was a Walking Dead fan fiction that I wrote, and I wanted to base it here in Arizona so that we could kind of explore what walkers would look like inside the Arizona universe. And So essentially, it's just the following of these five characters around Arizona as the outbreak ensues and we get to see which is worse, walkers or humans, you know, which one is going to hurt you more in the zombie apocalypse. Brett's been working on this film for a while. Pre-production really started a couple of semesters ago when he visioned a Walking Dead fan film as his student innovation project with a lot of makeup and visual effect as the innovation. Working on set was very interesting. It was the first time I actually worked on a set with such a theme, <laughs> being part of this fan film of The Walking Dead, which is actually a pretty good show. I actually watched it myself. And, and it was very cool seeing all the effects and everything that took place in the set. What I did as a lead makeup artist for Loyalty Lies with the Dead was make all the zombies as gruesome as possible. Our director wanted a variety of sunburned zombies, nasty deteriorated zombies, or just fresh zombies that just turned. So it was really fun messing around with sunburned zombies. We were going for a very unique look with a blistering. I was the assistant director for Loyalty Lies with the Dead, and what that position really held was I was responsible for helping organize the whole team and the set basically for Brett. My job on set as director of photography was to make sure that all departments were getting what we wanted on camera between the key grip, lighting, and simultaneously working with my assistant cameraman Killian Davies and making sure that we were getting what Brett and I discussed on the shot list while developing the project. I've been assistant cameraman before on many sets and Brandon, being a different director of photography that I've been under, allowed me a lot of freedom and creative right to the camera and allowed me to shoot a lot of the shots. It gave me another obstacle to overcome to be able to hold the camera on such an important project. I felt like I accomplished that goal. I always love working on set. This was a new experience considering uh, we were using the green screen. We were taught how to set up the green screen by Paul DeNegris. We were able to get that set up in two locations, both in the desert scene plus at the tunnel scene with minimal complications. I was head of sound for the Loyalty Lies of the Dead shoot. I handled everything from working with the lav mics and making sure they're on the actors correctly and making sure the levels were good and everything sounded good, as well as overseeing the boom operation and making sure everything was going smoothly. And then like staging sound gear and stuff like that, just a general job that a sound person would do on set. My job as assistant sound operator was to make sure that the boom mic picked up the audio for each and every single individual actor. I am the second assistant director and the prop master on set of Loyalty Lies with the Dead. The prop master takes care of most, if not all, props used on set, be it guns, bricks, any sort of item that the actors use, I am to take care of, and the only other person aside from the actors who is allowed to use and or touch them. I was DIT for Loyalty Lies with the Dead, so I was on set after they finished shooting a scene or a SD card was full, I would transfer it over and start naming them and processing the footage. I was in charge of electrical and making sure all lighting was set up and everything ran smoothly when it came to electrical. But shooting in a bar is like, you know, fun because you get to play around with like different colors of lighting, stuff like that, because you know, bars have like neon signs. We had gel layers plugged in. We had like, I think the most we ever had was like five lights going at once, all with like different color gels. But when you have so much going on with like lighting, it just makes it more interesting to look. As somebody who wants to get into producing and screenwriting and obviously directing and filming, it was fun for me. Pre-production is the best part. You get to make the project, you get to add it to the universe of Walking Dead, and you get to really develop it from inception. When you get on set, it's almost some catharsis because you're there, everything is coming to reality, and then 10 months of work is over in four days. So it's a little bittersweet, but it's always great to see the work done. Working with the rest of the crew is a lot of fun. It's a lot of people I've worked with before. It's a lot of people I want to continue working with. You know, and it's a bunch of people who have a job on set and they know where they stand. They know how to get things done. And even though some, you know, sometimes things turn out a little bit bad or sometimes things aren't going too well, it was always something we were always able to pick back, that back up and always get things right on track. And we managed to do it fairly quickly. On set for Loyalty Wise with the Dead, I was behind the scenes where I walked around and filmed basically what everyone was doing. 
God, I haven't golfed in forever. Alright, now we're done. Whoa, what's going on? I'm Rio. I'm Best Boy Grip with Loyalty Lies for the Dead. And I'm out here and I'm uh, helping out the crew, lighting, waters, whatever. I'm, I'm being called in right now. Let's get back to work. So my experience on set has been really fun. Everybody is really professional. We've just had a blast joking around, singing songs and being goofy. And it's been a really long day. It's 3.30 in the morning right now, but uh, it's been really, um, it's been an emotional journey. It's been very fulfilling, so it's really cool. We're all really excited. Oh man, UAT, it's been so professional down to the exact call times and oh, everybody following us around with umbrellas and the heat and making sure everybody had plenty of water. I, I mean, maybe one of the most professional sets I've been on in, in a while and it's just so kind and um, just a pleasure to work with, for sure. I mean, these guys are awesome. Um, Brett's been great. Uh, Brandon, yourself, Alex, doing the BTS. Um, it's been a great, it's been a great time. It's a good shoot. I love working with UAT. I love working with all these people on, on set. They're a great group of students led by an amazing teacher, Paul DeNegris, who I've had the pleasure of working with on a few projects now. And um, every time I come back, I, I don't regret it. My favorite or most memorable moment was probably have to be uh, the second night when we were doing the tunnel scene. I had a couple of my friends come as extras. There was a lot of people there that I hadn't gotten the chance to work with before and have my little 15 minutes of fame actually in the film. If you're just joining us, we're trying point. to figure out how they do the cool American flag folding with a green screen. <laughs> no. Obviously, no. no. This is a green we're screen? Folding no. Green, no. We're folding a green screen to, to tribute all those who died in the making Well, we could film. always come with the American flag. All right, guys, find a fold of the hug. Let's do this. Oh, oh, yeah, that. Yeah, I was too hot for that shit. Yeah, it is. Wow, <laughs> We are out at the uh, UAT campus <laughs> in the dirt lot, creating magic like yes. only this guy and his students can do. So um, today we're going to be shooting a scene that we shot actually out in, uh, what was it? Casa Grande? Casa Grande. Or was it Mars? It could have been <laughs> Mars. It could have been any. <laughs> and uh, so if you look over here, we got the big old green screen set up that the, these guys painted and made. Yep. Come follow me. Oh, hold on. Don't want to step inside the bus. Don't step inside the bus. What? What bus you say? It will be there. Setting up all the markers so they can create movie magic. So I remember being on the desert. There was like a lot of space between where we like rested and where we shot and we had to use the cars to get by. We had people like hanging off the side of the car, like sailing through, whatever, just like Mad Max style. My favorite moment on set, I really have two favorite moments. There, personally, on the first day in the desert, when we had the green screen set up, there was a snake that had popped out from one of the holes, and many people were freaking out by it. Now, I know snakes can be dangerous, but this one was relatively small and didn't seem to be attacking anyone specifically. It was just trying to find shade. So as long as you remained away from it, you would be fine. So to see people freak out, overreact, I think, it was hilarious to me. What was it like being on the Loyalty Lies with the Dead shoot? Uh, intense. It was, there was a lot of high points, but there's also like those low points that you just got like stressed out and you were like always wondering what's going to happen next. And just being able to power through those and like have everything work out in the end, it just makes it like that much more of an experience. What he said. You know, we've gotten real close, uh, me and the zombies. Yeah. Uh, they're actually really great guys. Thank you, thank you. They're really great guys. Yeah. I'm really hungry. Can you hold me out, man? Let's take what you need. So far, I think Loyalty Lies of the Dead has turned out, like, fantastic. You know, I've got a chance to sort through all the shots and look at everything. And, you know, through all the complications and stuff that we had on set, you know, the heat, time restraints, none of it comes across on camera. Um, everything looks great. The acting is so fantastic. Like, I was, I've, I've been watching some of the shots and I, I can't believe, like, 
some of the acting that we've gotten out of uh, you know out of our talent, out of Danielle, out of Monica, they're all, they're all just so great. Like, I can't wait uh, to get the edit together and you know to see what it's all gonna look like. So look, if you if you go telling people that you know we had dead like dead people walking around eating actors and stuff like you don't understand like you guys cannot be telling people that it's just a massive insurance liability. Not to mention what the the Higher Learning Commission would think if they found out that we that I as a professor allowed my students to interact with bloodthirsty cannibalistic reanimated brain dead creatures like I, I just like you guys don't understand what this could do not only to my career but yours and to this whole place it's just you, you just need to shut it down you cannot be spreading these rumors